welcome back for another vlog let's start this video off with a prayer and today's prayer is dear god forgive me for always trying to control everything around me it's a bad habit i'm trying to let go of but i do need your help my heart wants to let you have full control over me but my actions say otherwise i give of my own plan and let you and your will prevail in my life let it be your way i don't want anything introduced to me if it isn't of you i choose to be still and let you handle all of my battles i thank you for always being my protector i thank you for still fighting my battles for me even when i am in your way i surrender and give you full control in jesus name i pray amen so i pray that that prayer blesses you guys today today is friday and it's a whole new day my favorite day of the week is friday um thank you guys so much on the previous video for all your kind words of encourage your words of encouragement and all your kindness you guys did not fail me at all like y'all came through you guys were so nice and just so supportive so thank you guys so much um i was up last night reading the comments and then i woke up this morning it was a bunch more so i was able to catch up and respond to everyone so thank you so much for that um i can't stop smiling <laughs> so thank you um today though it's friday so normally on fridays i bake but i'm gonna bake later on today um i want to get out the house and run some errands usually when i say that it means that i want to go somewhere so i told you guys i've been looking around to see what they, they have out for fall so today i think i might have stopped by hobby lobby to see what they have now hobby lobby usually come out with the same stuff every year but i've been watching other people's shopping videos and they've i've seen a few things that i like here and there not to go crazy or anything i do have a grocery order coming that's on the way right now i just got a notification that is coming last night i did oh my watch last night i worked on my next week's menu and everything i will be prepping this week and everything so um i did that um waiting for the groceries once it comes in i'll show you guys what i have there's a few items they didn't have so i'm gonna have to get it from the store this weekend um but yeah that's what i got going on you guys so whatever i got going on today i will take you guys along i hope you're all doing well and let's get this let's get this day started y'all y'all so i'm in the guest bedroom and last night john went ahead and brought my fall bins out it's actually not this much some of these are halloween um I don't need them right now and I gotta look through them because I am gonna donate some stuff and I'm also gonna let my friend look through them to see what she needs this is like I know this is a lot of my kitchen stuff in here yeah remember my fall cookbook I can't wait to use this again remember the sweet potato pound cake I made last year I think this is the one in the picture yep um I might be making that again this year my fall mugs of course um yeah what else i got in here what's in here so i gotta look through everything and see what i have first you know how you open up a bin a whole year goes by it kind of refreshes your memory i already know where i'm gonna put this wreath i'm gonna put this wreath where i have the fall not the fall wreath sorry the wreath for right by the laundry room i'm gonna replace it with this one normally i have that in the mirror but i have another one to put on there this year and what's in here I love Charlie Brown. Y'all know me. Y'all would know that I love Charlie Brown. The fall blankets, like little things. I usually put batteries in here, but this is not. For, this is for Halloween. Yeah, so I have a good amount of stuff in here. Don't need to go crazy or anything. I don't decorate the whole house for fall. Just like the kitchen, living room, half bathroom. This Destiny's room I do minimally. I know this is Halloween. Yeah, so I don't need this right now. Let me see. I just gotta look through all of them. Yep, this Halloween, so I don't need this one either. I got this um, wreath from At Home. It was nineteen ninety nine. They still got it there for the same price too. If you're looking for something like that, oh, this is where I have a lot of my um, fall, my living room decor in. I need to get more of these stems because I ran out of them last year. Oh, that's everything. 
All right, guys. So the groceries just came in. This was this. All of this is $153. Now there were. They told me they didn't have cilantro and they didn't have mini chocolate chips, so I'll have to get that separately. So let's start this grocery haul. I got three things of chicken broth. I got some flour tortillas, the burrito one. This weekend we're making um, breakfast burritos, so that's why we will be uh, meal prepping. Corn tortillas for taco night on Tuesday. Pinto beans. Uh, salsa. I needed some more peanut butter. We got hoisin sauce, Baker's Joy is my favorite one to use for baking, especially when I make pound cakes and stuff, it never sticks to the bun pan because Baker's Joy has flour in it. Uh, chicken taco seasoning that goes with the taco night and so does the, like, the salsa. I got some more white spoons, I put this in the kids lunch box. Uh, white chocolate chips to restock. I like to restock my baking stuff so that's why I had ordered the mini chocolate chips as well. The kids also like oatmeal, especially me. So I got some oatmeal. I tried the Great Value brand and I noticed that the oatmeal was like harder, like even though I cooked it at the same time and I even added more time to cook the oatmeal and um, it's still like, it was just harder. This one I like it cause it's softer. So sometimes I just get the name brand for that reason. Um, sharp cheddar cheese. I need some sweet potatoes. Now I had ordered the big sweet potatoes, but they for some reason gave me this bag. These sweet potatoes are so small. I got these um, yogurt tubes. It's like gogurts um, for the kids' lunchbox. So you put these in the freezer. Some mini sub rolls. I like to make them for their lunchbox too. Sometimes on the days I don't have any leftovers, I put sandwich meat and cheese and stuff in there. So I have those. And then I got some more brown eggs. That's my favorite. I usually get them from Costco or Sam's Club, but I'm not going there any, anytime soon. So these were a pretty good price. They were like five something for 18, so not bad. Buttermilk for some baking that I'm gonna do this week. Can't wait to share that with you guys. Some spinach, some coleslaw, some lettuce, um, some ground turkey. I'm going to also prep one meal, meal prep one lunch this week. So it could be for John to take to work, for me to eat for lunch, or for the kids to take to school with them. I got some kielbasa. This one's my favorite sausage. So this coin with the sweet potatoes, I'm going to cook it in the oven with sweet, sweet potatoes, red onion, um, sausage and stuff like that, and green beans. And then I'm, two of these are gonna go with the pinto beans in the slow cooker. I needed the breakfast sausage for the um, breakfast burritos. And then I got these to try for myself to put in my water. Now, I don't drink stuff like this in my water every time I drink water. I do it with dinner when I want something with a little more flavor or maybe once or twice a day. But one of y'all told me to try this. So I can't wait to try it. I don't mind if the kids want to try it as well. That's cool with me. But they have these flavors. This is the raspberry, the strawberry, the cherry and the original, which is lemonade. It's only 10 calories, so not bad. So I have that. I also have the um, some scallions, red bell pepper, green bell pepper, white onions, and the red onion in here. <laughs> I put it all in the same bag, that's fine. Some Roma tomatoes and some limes. If you hear background noise, I do have the TV on. Um, so I made the menu for next week. I just, I thrive from having, knowing what I'm going to make that week. Plus it helps with the grocery, grocery budget. Um, because I'm not just, you know, randomly buying stuff. So Monday I have sweet potato, green bean casserole with smoked sausage. Tuesday is chicken salsa tacos. I love that. It's delicious. Um, and it's so easy to make. Wednesday is leftovers. Hopefully I have leftovers from either day, Monday or Tuesday. Uh, Thursday is slow cooked pinto beans with white rice. Friday is leftovers. Now a lot, a lot of these recipes, they're already in my description box where it says simply Yesenia dinners. And you can go on there and if you want to try them out. Saturday is no cooking, wing it. Sounds good to me. Meal prep Sunday. Okay, so for meal prep this weekend, I have breakfast burritos and Hawaiian bread sandwiches. So I'm going to make only one thing of the Hawaiian bread sandwiches. And then for lunch, I'm going to meal prep some ground turkey bowls with cauliflower rice. 
and then I'm this week I am baking some cinnamon bread it's called Amish cinnamon bread it's already in my description box links if you want to try it out but I'm be baking that this week so I like to write out everything I'm gonna need for that week and that's how I do my grocery um, I really don't like going to the grocery store because I feel like I'm wasting my time walking in there looking for the stuff huh. but I like doing the grocery delivery sometimes the con is they be messing up your stuff all the time and then it was gonna replace my cilantro with the parsley like they're two different flavors like they're not even the same thing so I just told them to do not replace it with that so um, once I get okay. back though I am making peanut butter cookies that's what the kids voted on at least two out of three voted for that Devin wanted me to, t to make a chocolate bunk cake we're sick and tired of chocolate right now that that's I did back to school brownies twice because Destiny went to school, so I did that for her. And then when the boys went to school, I made brownies for them too. Um, so I really don't want chocolate on chocolate on nothing. That's what he wanted. The other two are pretty much sick of chocolate as well. So they uh, voted Devin and voted for peanut butter cookies. So that's what I'll be making when I get back today. Y'all, I just made it to, to Hobby Lobby. Look at this tree. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. who's with me here today say hey to the vlog he had a doctor's appointment this morning where they dilated his eyes and stuff so that's why he wearing glasses in the inside <laughs> he'll hang out with me today i guess we'll take advantage the kids are at school and have like a lunch day or whatever we haven't done those since last school that long yeah i remember last time we chewed on something last night when we ate dinner john no, okay. <laughs> I know that's so cute. So tiny. Look at these spoons. Oh. What? Oh, that is cute and little. What what do people do with this though? That's cute. Oh, I don't know. one of these spoons and put in there. Oh look at you got ideas. Oh, yeah. oh, look at you. You've been watching me, haven't you? I know a little fashion. A little fashion? stuff up this one rotates this Christmas tree stand. yeah oh oh it's a stand okay oh revolving tree stand $89.99 I like this pumpkin cause I feel like this works really well in my office but even with 40% off I don't know it's $24.99 and then 40% off would be $14.99 $14.99 for this little thing I don't know I don't know about all that mm -mm been chauffeuring um what's this chauffeuring <laughs> it's uh, you around i told john not to get used to this because he can't see 
<laughs> We're at Walmart now. So we came here to restock on the composition notebooks because we pretty much used all the ones we had and normally we buy in bulk. They don't have none and they actually started putting their back to school stuff away. So yeah. Oh, they have the TheraBreath. I started using this, I really love this. They have the big one here. I think it was nine something that I paid for at Target. Target is a more expensive. Huh? Oh yeah, I gotta get some more deodorant. Thank you for reminding me. Hold on, y'all. So they have the TheraBreath here. And then they have the quick version. Because I was gonna get the kids this one, but I think I'm gonna try this one. It's cheaper. I always like to come check the clearance section. They be having a lot of the summer stuff on in the clearance now. I don't need none of this stuff. This is $18.94. Oh, I oh this is the ice bucket. How much is this though? Whoa, whoa. Put it back. Put it back. You shush, John. Put it back. <laughs> no, it was it screws on there. It just must have been loose. <laughs> Got it on there, good. Oh, okay. Well, we're good now. I was trying to see how much they had it on clearance for. Oh, eighteen ninety-two. I wonder what's the original price though. If I was eighteen ninety-five, and they took three cents off, huh? You a mess. Uh huh. Rose water, coconut milk. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Eight dollars for this candle. Let me see. This smells really good. This one is vanilla bean smoked embers. Oh. This looks like the marshmallow fireside from Bath and Body Works. Uh -huh. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Does it have a price? Seven dollars? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, this is marshmallow fireside. The vanilla bean smoked embers from Walmart. What else they have on clearance? Oh, they got more candles. This is pumpkin and chai. Let's see how this smells. Let's see. It smells pretty good. Normally I don't like pumpkin anything, but this one doesn't smell like pumpkin. They have some nice ones. Um, John snuck this in the cart. It smells like a cologne. It smells really good. I don't know if you guys smelled that one before, but it smells really good. They also have the cups. Uh, right out of set, so. These are two fifty each. So nice. Oh, oh, no. Nope. You know what? I'm going to leave that there. All right, y'all. So I'm in the pajama section, and I love these pajamas. They're so soft and comfy. I've been trying to replace my old ones. Oh, they got some more on this side. See, I got this one last time. Let me see. Which ones are these? They're really comfortable. I like them. I don't like mushrooms. Not even in my, in my pajamas. This is cute. I like this. Oh. That's one thing I do like a lot is pajamas. I've been trying to replace my old ones, y'all. This is cute, too. But these are so soft. I love them. Hey, guys. We're home. Actually, we've been home for a while. Went to Walmart, whatever. The school called, their power went out. So we picked Destiny up from school. Um, and then we came home and took a nap because it was storming. There were trees down and everything, y'all. But the way the sun is shining, you would have never known there was any problems earlier. But now I'm up from a nap. <laughs> it was much needed. And now I'm getting ready to make the peanut butter cookies. I went ahead already and measured everything out. So let's get started on those. The boys should be here soon. I'm starting a little later than I wanted to, but it is what it is. All right, y'all. So for the stick of butter, instead of using sticks of butter, I'm using the Crisco shortening sticks. These work really well for baking cookies. And um, each one of these tubes is a half a cup of butter. So I have two because I'm doubling up the recipe today. So in the recipe, I will link it. I'm sure to leave it linked in my description box. 
It says preheat oven, I already did that. Cream butter and brown sugar together until smooth. So, let's open this up. I miss baking, you guys. I have baked here and there, but nothing that's a big deal or whatever. But I love cozy season because I love to bake. It's my number one thing to do. <laughs> All right, we got one. This to the side. The other one. You can find them at most grocery stores. I get these from Walmart. You know what's funny, when my mom was here, my mom is not a baker, she loves to cook, but she's never really baked before. And she she just wanted to make cookies. She wanted to know that she could make them, because she always see me baking. So I told her, if you follow the recipe, you can bake. And she, you know, sure enough, she was a little nervous. She wanted me to look over her while she was baking the cookies. Um, that was a, like a few days before we went to Florida. Well anyways, I, she was kind of nervous, I don't know why. And sure enough, it, she measured all her ingredients out and everything, y'all, and she followed the recipe. And y'all know English is not my mom's first language either. And she did great. She, dumb cookies. She made oatmeal raisin cookies, and they were the bomb.com. Now I'm adding the brown sugar. This is two cups of brown sugar. But y'all, them cookies came out so good. She made a double batch the first time. There goes the fridge again, being rude. <laughs> all right let's butter her up she made a double batch the first time it did not last it lasted only one day and then she was so confident of baking she did three batches of the oatmeal cookies the day before we went to florida it was the same day my, my sister-in-law mark and them got here and we took some to florida man they were so good y'all so now we're going to add one egg at a time Four teaspoons of vanilla extract. It's two teaspoons, but we are doubling up the recipe. Y'all should have seen. I'm telling you, I should have seen how happy my mother was when she made those cookies. It was such a big deal to her. They were delicious. That she baked because she was not. She always said she wasn't a baker. Sometimes you just kind of have to give yourself a chance, you know. And then we're going to add the peanut butter. I love peanut butter. So, it's a cup and a half. That looks in there real good. Now, this is my first time making peanut butter cookies. I've had them, other people made them. But um, I've never made them myself. I don't want to waste none. Let me get another spoon. Scrape the sides, make sure everything is mixing well. Mixer, I missed you. She was over here in the corner looking at me sideways like, you haven't used me in forever. <laughs> There's nothing personal for you. You know I get like this every summer. Okay. It asks for you to like roll the cookie like cookie balls in sugar, right? After adding two cups of brown sugar, I feel like it doesn't need it. Unless you really want to, you don't have to do that. I do what I want to do, and I feel like that's enough sugar. Like that mix in here, and now we're we're going to add um the flour. I'll just add one. It looks like I need more flour too.
You always add a little bit at a time. sure everything is nicely well incorporated in the oven I didn't want to waste the rest of the cookie dough so I just put the last one in the oven I finished the cookies I sent over some cookies to my friend's house she's having movie night for the kids over there so she'll she over there made her own um piece of dough and stuff so the kids can roll their own pizza their own dough and stuff for their pizza and they can make personalized pizzas and she got them a bunch of junk and candy and stuff so the kids went up well Destiny's already over there and the boys just got home so they're getting ready to walk over there as well um, I probably go walk over there too, but it's hot. <laughs> John took my car, he drove over there, so I'm gonna have to walk. <laughs> Good morning, it's now the next day. It is Saturday morning. I actually waited till Saturday to see if I could save some more money. <laughs> I got up early this morning. I went to Dollar General and this is my little haul. So I got it all free and clear pods, the Tide pods as well, and then the little one. 
This is the 12 count. This is the 31 count. Some borax. Cascade. There's only a few in here. Um, I always get the small packs of many things. Okay, so um, I got some gain, the big one, and then two small ones. They had, if you spend $20 on gain, you get $5 off. So I bought this. Plus an extra three dollars off, so I saved eight dollars just by getting this right here. I got some Perseal. Um, so everything, all in all, it was forty-four dollars, and I saved twenty-five dollars today. So I'm trying to learn, y'all. <laughs> I think I did pretty good. To be honest, though, I'm trying. I'm still trying to figure out CVS couponing. I just can't get it, or how to redeem the coupons, or even add the coupons. I'm, I'll figure it out, y'all. I probably have to watch a YouTube video or something. I'm trying to learn, but I am trying to build up my pile. Um, but I think I did pretty good. I actually enjoyed myself doing it. I think it's a good hobby. <laughs> I love doing that, but. I have a busy day today. It's Saturday, so that means I'm gonna be doing Destiny's hair today and just doing stuff around the house. That's all I got, pretty much. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And keep a lookout for my next videos, you guys. Bye, y'all.